Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. And today, we are going to be taking that statement quite seriously as we delve into the depths of obscurity. There's no doubt that One Piece boasts one of the largest collection of characters in all of storytelling. However, I don't think that even One Piece fans realize just how deep this rabbit hole goes. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's why today, we are going to shine the spotlight on some of the most obscure characters in the series. The rules for this list are pretty simple. The character must have been named, so no bullshit like Soldier number three of the Rebel Army in Alabaster. Furthermore, the character must be canon, so no filler nonsense as per usual. There are, of course, some pretty hardcore fans that may even know every character on this list, but I don't expect that to be the case for most of you. So let's go on a strange journey into the realm of obscurity. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top five most obscure characters in One Piece. Number five, Momo Usagi and Chaton. Now, if you're in any way vaguely familiar with Japanese, these two names might strike you as fitting a particular pattern. That being the trend of admirals being named after both a color and an animal. Here, Momo Usagi literally means pink rabbit, while Chaton means brown pig. And these two characters are pretty special in that they were created by fans. During the SBS for Volume 74, one reader asked Oda when Admiral Momo Usagi would be making her appearance. And after feigning confusion, Oda then corrected the reader by stating that Momo Usagi was in fact a Vice Admiral, and provided a drawing of her based on Japanese actress Michio Kogure. Then during the SBS for Volume 75, another fan asked about Marine Admiral Chaton, adding into the canon that he has asked out Momo Usagi 100 times and had been rejected a sad 100 times. Once again, Oda corrected the reader by saying that Chaton was a Vice Admiral and provided a sketch of him. So that's pretty cool on its own, but in One Piece Film Gold, these two characters were given cameos aboard the Grand Tesoro. Things don't stop there though, because recently during the Reverie arc, these two appeared in the actual manga and even delivered lines. Not to mention that when you think about it, Momo Usagi is the highest ranking female marine in the series thus far, sharing the title with Suru of course, as they are both vice admirals. And you know what? For ranks as high as vice admirals, these two are pretty damn obscure characters, but I think we can delve much deeper. Number 4. Michael and Huaikel. As a second duo in a row on this list, Michael and Huaikel are easily identified by their shirts, bearing the katakana for Ma and Ho, respectively. I mean, I guess they could have decided to swap shirts just to add extra confusion onto their already obscure existence, but for now, we're going to assume that the shirts are accurate. In any case, this duo was originally mentioned by Tilestone and Pepe Lulu during the Water 7 arc. In a moment of comic brilliance, the Galila Carpenters revealed that they suspected Michael and Huaikel from the back streets to be the attempted assassins of Iceberg, rather than the more obvious answer of Rob Lucci and his posse. But as often happens with these sorts of things, a reader in an SBS question demanded that we see the faces of these suspected criminals. So of course, Oda obliged, and as a result, Michael and Huaikel even had their own filler scenes added into the anime during the Return to Water 7 arc. Sadly, this does them no favors for this list, because featuring them in any way, shape, or form makes them slightly less obscure. So you know what? We can definitely do better than these two. Number three, Sam. So if you've been paying close attention reading or watching One Piece, you may have noticed this drunkard in the background from time to time. His appearances are very similar to that of the Panda Man, except much, much rarer. Sam made his entrance into the story during the Arlong arc and was seen celebrating with the members of Kokoyashi Village following Arlong's defeat. But do not be fooled, Sam is not in fact a member of Kokoyashi Village. According to Oda, Sam was on his way home from his daughter's wedding, wildly intoxicated, and decided to crash the party. He then made a further appearance on the island of Alabaster in chapter 171. As for the reason why he ended up in the Grand Line, well, according to Oda, Sam had been out celebrating his second daughter's wedding, had one drink too many, as he often does, and somehow ended up on Alabaster. Kind of like the premise for the Hangover films, I guess. Sadly, for the sake of this list, Sam is also negatively affected by the anime, which features him an awful lot as an Easter egg character, thus reducing his glorious obscurity. So I guess we're just going to have to go a step further. Number two. Farafra. This man is a member of the rebel army led by Koza during the Alabaster arc. Due to the fact that he is so obscure, he is largely devoid of personality, but we do know that he is loyal as he was willing to lose an arm to protect Koza from an enemy attack. But what makes this character mildly interesting is the fact that he has a bizarre cult following when it comes to the One Piece popularity polls. During these times, a small segment of the Japanese community rallies around Farafra to push him up the ranks, and he has managed to obtain the 88th place in the fifth character poll and an even 
even more impressive 47th place in the 6th character poll. To put this into some perspective, in the 6th character poll, Farafra was voted more popular than characters such as Blackbeard, Dragon, Kobe, and Fujitora. Now this places Farafra in the company of some pretty non-obscure characters, but we're not going to hold the whims of a group of Japanese trolls against him, because Farafra, let's be honest, you're pretty damn obscure. And yet, there is most certainly a character in existence that dwarfs you in pure obscurity. Number one, Bachi. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the pinnacle of Mount Obscurity. Put it simply, Bachi is a bug. I can't even really tell you what kind of bug though, because in the manga Bachi was a fly, however in the anime he's a brown, silverfish, whatever looking thing. What we do know is that in the One Piece world, Bachi is classified as a type B creature, meaning small and friendly. Despite this alleged friendliness, Bachi became the victim of Full Body during the Baratie arc. So remember way back at the dawn of One Piece when Full Body was a dick? Yeah. Well this prick stepped on poor old Bachi here and put him into his soup in an attempt to humiliate Sanji. This attempt failed of course, and Full Body was punished for his dickish ways. However much more importantly, to this day the status of Bachi is still unknown. Given that prior to Ace, One Piece characters didn't really die, I'd like to think that Bachi is alive and well and still currently on his adventure to become become the king of the bugs. But on the off chance he isn't, well, this number one spot will act as justice for Bachi. And that pretty much does it for the top five most obscure characters in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. Finally, please do comment with your own favorite obscure characters. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.